Have you ever wondered how math can be useful or exciting? How abstract equations and formulas actually apply to real life? If so, then applied mathematics is for you. Hello and welcome to our channel. Before we begin, be sure to like and subscribe. Today's video on the essence of applied mathematics. Math gets a bad rap as being boring or irrelevant, but applied math is anything but boring or irrelevant. Basically, applied math is all about using mathematical concepts to solve real world problems. It's math in action. And in this video, we'll be exploring some of the key concepts in applied math, where they came from, how they're used today, and why they can be so challenging to solve. We'll look at some famous applied math problems, the creative ways math is used in the world, and where applied math might take us in the future. Our goal is to give you an appreciation for how essential applied math is in science, engineering, business, and more. Applied math gives us insights we couldn't reach any other way. It allows us to predict, optimize, analyze, and make sense of complex phenomena. While pure mathematics explores abstract structures and theorems, applied math rolls up its sleeves to tackle quantitative issues we faced in the real world. It's an incredibly versatile set of tools. The math concepts we'll focus on are calculus, statistics, mathematical modeling, and linear algebra. These form the core of most applied math fields. We'll ground each concept in real examples so you can see these ideas in action. Our aim is to convey the creativity, impact, and breadth of applied mathematics. There's real art and beauty in framing the world mathematically and discovering solutions. So get ready for an applied math adventure. Let's start by looking at the origins and evolution of calculus. The history and impact of calculus. Calculus stands as one of humanity's greatest intellectual achievements. Albert Einstein once said, pure mathematics is, in its way, the poetry of logical ideas. And calculus represents mathematics at its most poetic. This groundbreaking branch of math emerged in the 17th century, revolutionizing science and engineering. The foundations for calculus were laid by eminent mathematicians like Isaac Newton and Gottfried Leibniz. They built upon concepts from ancient Greek mathematicians to develop theories of limits, derivatives, and integrals. This mathematical trio forms the essence of calculus. The key insight enabling calculus was the idea that smooth, continuous change could be modeled mathematically. Before, math was limited to studying static states. But Newton and Leibniz found mathematical expressions to capture flowing, dynamic systems. This revealed an exciting new quantitative language to describe reality. For example, velocity and acceleration are derivatives, rates of change, of position over time. The steepness of a curved line is described by derivatives. Integrals express the area accumulated under a curve. These two tools unlock the motions of objects and systems. This was revolutionary. Scientists could now mathematically express laws of planetary motion, fluid dynamics, thermodynamics, electromagnetism, and more. Calculus provided a rigorous, quantitative foundation for physics and engineering. It's the mathematical heart enabling technologies from computers to spacecraft. Today, calculus surrounds us from supply chain models to medical imaging. We study calculus to gain insight into any system that changes, whether atmospheric chemistry, population growth, or traffic flow. Mastering calculus allows us to simulate, control, and optimize dynamic processes. Calculus illustrates the profound creativity inherent in mathematics. By inventing an abstract world of limits, derivatives, and integrals, geniuses like Newton and Leibniz revealed truths about the concrete physical world. Their work reminds us of the boundless potential of the human mind. The many shades of statistics. If calculus models smoothly changing systems, statistics helps us make sense of messy, unpredictable systems. Statistics provides tools to analyze variation, quantify uncertainty, and extract signals from noise. It empowers us to study chance phenomena and make data-driven decisions. 
Humans have always been fascinated by games of chance and random events. But the modern feel of statistics originated in the late 19th and early 20th century through pioneers like Ronald Fisher, Jerzy Neiman, and Carl Pearson. They developed a rigorous framework for statistical inference, using limited sample data to estimate properties of an entire population. This enabled surveys and quantitative analysis for governments and businesses. Today, statistics pervades almost any field that uses empirical data. It gives us insight into fluctuations in financial markets, genetic diversity, demographic shifts, public opinion, and more. Statistics help separate reliable signals from random noise. For example, clinical trials rely on statistics to determine whether medical treatments are effective or if their results are just coincidental. Surveys use statistics to generalize findings from a small sample to an entire population. Machine learning algorithms leverage statistics to find patterns and make predictions. Statistics comes in many shades, each with different purposes. Descriptive statistics summarize large data sets think averages, percentiles, standard deviation. Inferential statistics makes judgments about hypotheses and populations from samples and experiments. Bayesian statistics expresses uncertainty quantitatively and refines predictions as new data comes in. Stochastic modeling studies random processes and forecasting. Computational statistics harnesses the power of programming for statistical analysis. There's elegance in teasing out hidden structures from uncertainty and variability. Probability and statistics give us tools to untangle the intrinsic randomness of our complex world. They tame chaos into insight. Statistics also underpins the data-driven decision-making used in business, sports, policymaking, and more. It provides a framework for weighing evidence, evaluating risk, and maximizing outcomes. In our information-rich world, statistical literacy is an essential skill. The art and science of mathematical modeling. A key technique in applied mathematics is mathematical modeling, using equations and computational models to analyze real phenomena. This allows translating messy, complex systems into idealized mathematical forms. Models strip away superfluous details to focus on the essential driving forces. As the physicist Richard Feynman said, to analyze, simplify, and generalize a problem to its fundamentals is a mathematical technique. Mathematical modeling combines art and science. The art lies in making simplifying assumptions and approximations to fashion a tractable model. This abstracts the heart of the system. The science comes from testing the model with data, assessing its validity, and refining it. Models use the quantitative tools of applied math, calculus, differential equations, statistics, linear algebra, and more. Building and analyzing models requires blending mathematical skill with intuition for how the real world works. For example, suppose we want to model the spread of an infectious disease. We could build an epidemiological model tracking populations of susceptible and infected people, modeling transmission rates with differential equations. Comparing its predictions to real data would improve the model. In economics, models used calculus and statistics to express economic indicators like inflation, employment, or growth. Climate scientists build computational models of Earth systems, combining physics, chemistry, biology, and more into interconnected equations. Mathematical modeling has enabled enormous advances. It drives modern weather forecasting, financial engineering, computer graphics, aircraft design, search algorithms, and on and on. These systems are far too complex for the human mind alone to comprehend. Models help us grasp them mathematically. But models have limits too. As the statistician George Box said, all models are wrong, but some are useful. No model captures every detail or nuance. The skill lies in distilling out the most important dynamics mathematically while still reflecting reality accurately enough for the problem at hand. Mathematical modeling exemplifies the blended art and science at the heart of applied mathematics. It requires creativity and abstraction to build models 
and rigor and empiricism to validate them against data. This delicate dance allows turning the complexity of reality into solvable math problems, enabling insights otherwise beyond reach. The power and promise of linear algebra. Our final topic is linear algebra, the mathematical study of vector spaces, matrices, linear equations, and more. Don't let the jargon scare you off. Linear algebra offers profoundly useful tools for analyzing networks and multidimensional datasets. The concepts of linear algebra originated in the 19th century with mathematicians like James Joseph Sylvester and Arthur Cayley. They studied systems of linear equations and their geometric interpretations. What emerged was a beautiful geometric language for describing networks of interactions. While calculus handles change, linear algebra handles interconnected systems, flow networks, electrical circuits, supply chains, transit routes, and more. For example, the PageRank algorithm that powers Google's search results relies on linear algebra. PageRank models the web as a network of interconnected web pages, using linear algebra to quantify the importance of each page based on links between them. Linear algebra also offers powerful techniques for manipulating multidimensional data arrays. These methods are applied in data science, image processing, encryption, and more. For example, using matrices, a single transformation can adjust contrast, rotate, and scale an entire image simultaneously. Linear algebra excels at finding hidden patterns and intrinsic structure in networks and data. It reveals low-dimensional patterns lurking within massive datasets, perfect for machine learning and artificial intelligence applications. Yet for many, linear algebra seems abstract and detached from reality. But applications like PageRank reveal the powerful insights it can provide for modeling interconnected systems and relationships. Its versatility and geometric flavor give linear algebra a central role in applied mathematics. The concepts of linear algebra do take practice to grasp intuitively. But the payoff is seeing the world through a lens of dynamically interacting networks and multidimensional datasets. Linear algebra allows us to quantify and analyze the topology of complex systems in exciting new ways. For example, network analysis using graph theory and linear algebra is revolutionizing fields like neuroscience. Researchers build connectivity networks modeling interactions between parts of the brain. Linear algebra techniques then quantify crucial network properties related to learning and development. Other applications analyze social networks, ecological food webs, supply chains, electrical grids, and more as graphs of interconnected nodes. Linear algebra provides mathematical depth to study the patterns in these relationships. So while linear algebra can seem abstract at first, it enables quantifying and visualizing the complex networks that surround us. Mastering linear algebra allows glimpsing intricate webs of structure and meaning within all kinds of datasets and systems. Lastly, we've covered a lot of ground today in our applied math journey. We've seen how calculus empowers us to mathematically model continuous change, Statistics provides tools to handle randomness and uncertainty. Mathematical modeling allows capturing the essence of messy systems, and linear algebra offers techniques to understand interconnected networks. These form the foundation enabling countless applied math techniques spanning engineering, physics, data science, quantitative finance, and more. While the math can be challenging at times, the payoff is immense. Sharper insight into the world around us through quantitative, predictive models. The famous physicist Eugene Wigner wrote an essay called The Unreasonable Effectiveness of Mathematics in the Natural Sciences. He marveled at how abstract mathematical structures align so well with the real world. Understanding this is the essence of applied mathematics. We build conceptual models of reality using math, calculus, statistics, linear algebra, and so on. Against all odds, these reflect the world accurately enough to yield powerful predictions and a deeper grasp of natural phenomena. Math forms a bridge between our minds and objective reality. 
but applied math is fundamentally creative too. Each problem calls for tailoring the right math concepts to craft an appropriate model. Real insight comes from blending mathematical expertise with intuition for the essence of a system. This creative problem solving draws many minds to applied mathematics. It allows blending science and art in pursuing quantitative understanding. There is fun and beauty in grappling with baffling systems, then fashioning mathematical models that provide purchase on them. This process of abstraction, modeling, and validation forms the empirical heart of applied math. Real rigor comes from testing our models against data and refining them, iteratively converging toward truth. Math advances hand-in-hand -hand with empirical science this way. What does the future hold for applied mathematics? The frontiers are expanding rapidly. Big data supplies vast new oceans of information to analyze using statistical and computational methods. Machine learning algorithms leverage massive data sets to build predictive models. Fields like operations, research, and computational finance develop ever more sophisticated models for making optimal decisions under uncertainty and managing risk. And applications of math in social sciences and humanities are blossoming. Analyzing history, language, art, and more through quantitative lenses. But many challenges remain with room for creativity. Not all systems easily submit to mathematical modeling. Turbulence, consciousness, human behavior, these phenomena still confound neat quantification. Huge opportunities exist to advance modeling frameworks. Well, that's all for today. We hope this video has sparked your interest in applied mathematics. It lives at the intersection of quantitative rigor and creativity. If you're curious about using math to analyze the world, this is the field for you. Applied math is an endless wellspring of fascination and insight into everything around us. Let's keep exploring it together.